Welcome back to Global Guts Nickelodeon's World Championship for Kids and today's quest for the world title still up for grabs. We've got two events to go plus the crag, but right now we're going to get to know an athletic dynamo from Mexico. Rosa Lynx Diaz, spill your guts. Hola, yo soy Rosa Diaz. Hi, I'm Rosa Diaz and I'm from Mexico City. I like to play basketball and ride my bike. I especially like to swim because I feel free since I don't touch the bottom. These are some Mexican crafts. I brought them to show the rest of the world and to remind me of my country and my people. Ooh, imagine racing across the English Channel on a surfboard. Well, folks, in the Hang 10, we're going to bombard our athletes with some big-time breakers and some serious surgeon surf. Our players are going to try to make their way through the water. Let's go to Mo through the rules. Mo! At the sound of my whistle, players will have 30 seconds to collect as many buoys as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. Okay, so Hagit, with 30 seconds to power her way through those waves and get as many of those buoys on her arms as she can. You see she's holding on to the board with her left hand and using one arm. Not balancing her weight and using both arms, that's really hurting her. She's not really moving through the pool very fast. And at 10 seconds, she only has one buoy and she's falling off the board. She needs good points in this event. It looks like right now, she's only going to have a few buoys. Let's go to Mo for the official results, Mo. Hagi collected three buoys. And so let's see what Rosa can do as she gets her goggles on and situated. On your mark, get set. All right. And so with that whistle, she's going to really have to attack those waves and not let her get kicked off of that board. Our players needed tremendous coordination in this event. we got to keep the body on the board and the arms pumping towards the next buoy. And also, as I said, fearlessness. You know, those waves are trying to roll over our players. You can't hesitate. You just got to say, I'm not afraid of the waves. I want another buoy. There it is. Give me one. You can see Rosa going for that last buoy in the corner. It's time is running out. Let's go to Mo. Rosa collected seven buoys. Ugo is going to get balanced on the board right now. We'll see what he can do. On your mark, get set. All right. And so there it is. Seven is the number to beat. Lucky seven, the magic number. Eight will be the magic number for this man. Perfect game on the line, and he already, already looks to have about four. Before half of the time is run out, he's trying to hold himself on the board, but he's not really using his legs. You see, as he's laying on the board, he's not using his legs. He's just letting the waves roll over him. And he only has six right now. Looks to be seven, but again, that is unofficial. As time runs out, he reaches for that last buoy. Will he have it? I don't know if he dropped that last one. Let's go to Mo for the official results, Mo. Ugo also collected seven buoys, which put Ugo from Spain and Rosa in Mexico in first place tied, and in third place is Agit from Israel. When you get the guts pool, it's more than coordination and getting wet. It takes a lot of peripheral vision in this event, Hang 10. You see Rosa looking all over the pool saying, I want more buoys, I want first place points, I see that one, I'm going to grab hold, I want the points. Mo, let's go to the leaderboard. Hugo is still in the lead with 900 points. In second place is Rosa from Mexico with 600 points. In third place is Hagik from Israel with 400 points. Okay, folks, well, we have seen him surf, play water polo, and confront basic training. A world title, what he's after. Let's meet a Spaniard they call the reactor. Hugo Lopez, spill your guts. I'm Hugo from Madrid, Spain. I'm going to win. I'm the best. I like judo because ability and speed defeat brute force. I am the best. Just when we're competing, all I think about is defeating my rival. Time for a little rugby global gut style. It's called Scrumbo. Ladies and gentlemen, you're pushing, you're pulling, you're crawling, you're mauling, hopefully... You're scoring. Nope. At the sound of my whistle, players will have 60 seconds to grab as many loose rugby balls as possible. The player who collects the most wins. On your mark, get set. Perfect game on the line in this event. 
with 900 points. Hugo from Spain. Let's see what Hugo, where he goes. And that's Hagit. She scores one. In this event, quick decisions, efficiency, and power. And remember, folks, in scramble, you've got a power to push your pull your way to every loose ball because the other players will affect your motion by the way that they move. When you get on to those rugby balls, you got to get back there and decide to either throw it back or run it back. And with 23 seconds left, all of our players seem to be getting it in there. As Hagit seems to have about five in there so far. She needs a good score. Continuing to push and pull away. Hagit with another one. She just turned around and was right there. But the story here, Ugo with the perfect game on the line. Putting another one in. He tosses that in. Scrambling for another. As time runs out. Throwing at the buzzer. And let's go to Mo. Tied in first place, collecting 10 rugby balls each. Hagit and Ugo. And in third place, collecting eight rugby balls, Rosa. We talked about decision making. Hagid made, needed a good finish in this one. She tied for first place because of her quick decision making skills. She picks it right up and decides, no, I'm not going back all the way. I'm going to throw it back right now, ladies and gentlemen. And a fantastic job. Another 300 points for Hugo from Spain. We talked to him yesterday during practice. Here's what he had to say. Hugo, got a little scrape in your face. What happened? Estaba en el hotel y salté de cabeza y me raspé la cara con el suelo. So you scraped it on the pool? Yes. And uh, the, your nickname is The Reactor? How'd you get that nickname? Well, wh why do they call you that? Me, I am the fast. He's fast. He's fast. He's bilingual. Perfecto. Fast. Yeah, fast. Rapido. Yes. Yeah, these guys got guts. Check out the leaderboard now, Mo. Still in the lead is Ugo from Spain with 1,200 points and now tied in second place with 700 points each. Rosa from Mexico and Hagit from Israel. All right, folks, forget Scramble. The crags ready to rock, roll, and rumble. That mountain right there. Who's going to put the flag at the top? We'll find.